Hey guys, it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, is basically my entire lounge fly collection. Mostly lounge fly. <laughs> I think I have a couple bags that are not technically lounge fly, but we're just gonna throw it into this video because it makes the most sense. So I'm gonna try to categorize kind of... <sighs> I'm also gonna be talking kind of fast because I have so many bags I don't want this video to be a million years long, but I also wanna show you guys the bags. So let's get started. Okay, so mostly I'm gonna be showing these to you guys by color, I've decided, because I was kind of like laying them out and that just made the most sense. Except for this category I'm starting with. <laughs> so the category I'm gonna start with is not mini backpacks because I have a lot of, most of my bags are mini the mini backpacks so I'm going to show you everything that's not and then we'll get into kind of color categorizing my mini backpacks okay so starting with how many times am I going to say one of my favorites let's count one starting with one of my favorites oh no it's untied this is from my friend Jossum he got this for me for my birthday two or three years ago um it's so cute it is the original my adventure book so um I like this one more they redid it a few years ago and they turned the logo this way so that when you're holding it like it was easier to read but I like it this way because it makes more sense with the binding of the book which is so dumb but that's just how I feel about it and then when you open it it does have a picture of Carl and Ellie inside it's got the little note from Ellie thanks for the adventure now go have another one is that what it is Go have a new one, sorry. Love, Ellie. Um, the inside is pretty nice and spacious. I call this my fancy bag. <laughs> um, it does feature a gold chain. It is a crossbody, like this. So um, this is definitely not, has not been a park bag for me, but I do love it. I've definitely used it on quite a few dates with my husband. The next one is another crossbody style. I have saved this one wrapped because I'm probably going to use this in the park at some point, and I just want it to stay nice, especially with this metal chain. Um, I just worry about them like discoloring or rusting or something like that, not rusting. You know, like when gold stops looking so gold, that's what I mean. Um, it does have the Disneyland I don't know I called it I guess it's just his signature but the Disney D on the front it's red and white polka dot on the front and the back this one is a Disney lounge fly um and then it does have this cute little tassel feature on the zipper pull um the inside is just black and white polka dot it's just very Minnie Mouse very classic Disney super super cute the next one is a gift from my husband I got a long time ago, and it is the Carl and Ellie mailbox fanny pack. I don't think I've used this in the parks. Um, I've used it just kind of randomly. The thing I love about this one is when you unzip it, it's all balloons inside, which is so cute. And I do love the little flag and the handprints. It's just precious. Um, you guys are going to see uh one more up bag i really like up up is my favorite pixar movie um but it's super simple and these have kind of come back in style but doing like this way right this thing so who knows maybe i'll try it on our next disney trip <laughs> um next one is also another favorite that's two this one had to be picked up in the parks because it was a park exclusive and it looks like a little old-timey lunchbox they also did have a lunchbox version of this that was like an actual metal lunchbox we've got mickey donald and pluto riding on a little train we've got the castle in the background and the monorail going across the top it's very classic disney very like old school vintage um the, the reason i had to have this one other than the fact that it's just precious i love the teal color is that on the back we have country bear jamboree i absolutely took this to the park last time we went we did country bear jamboree outfits and it was everything i love it i do hate that it's the back because like it puts the zipper kind of oddly in, in the back when i wear it the other way around but i that's the way i want to wear it and then we have the walt disney world logo on the inside with that gorgeous teal color this purse is a little bit harder to use like it's one of those ones where it doesn't open very far so you're kind of scraping your hand on the zipper i just don't care because how often do you see a country bear jamboree bag this is the one <laughs> until they come out with more which i'm sure lounge fly will do to me at some point it's just so cute and i i regret nothing look how precious if you guys want to see like the whole outfits for any of the times I mentioned bringing these to the parks, I will link my pack with me video like or my outfit planning video that I did on my last Disney trip because a lot of these bags were showcased. 
Okay, the next bag is very worn down because it is one of my OG bags, like the the sec I believe the second lounge fly I ever bought myself, and it is Emperor's New Groove. It is a crossbody, and it's like this reddish color, but it's like an orangey red in person. Um, the thing that got me was like the golden llama. It looks just like the comb that he uses in the movie, and then it's that same color all throughout, but on the bottom. Let me open it so you can really see the pattern. Um, we have like embroidered detail including more little golden llamas it's just so cute and very emperor's new groove but also very subtle i will tell you guys this is one of the purses i've had the most compliments on in my life because people who aren't disney people love this bag um people who are disney people love this bag um the inside is kind of a similar pattern style um just you've got like actual Cusco right there um, it does have a zipper feature on the inside, which is so nice. This is just a nice bag. Like, it was just really well designed and thought out. I do love that it's like a kind of a drawstring closure. Um, and again, it's a crossbody style. I do love crossbody bags. Like, my two go-tos are a crossbody and a mini backpack. Those are, those are my jam. <laughs> That's also not the only um, Emperor's New Group. I have three Emperor's New Group bags, so... Just wait. This one is my first lounge fly of all time and it came out when Moana was out and it's Maui's Tattoos. I still love this bag. It's just so unique. Um, but we've got Maui's Tattoos all along the bag and then it's got like tan on the sides. It was a crossbody and the strap was destroyed. It got like looped around the wheel of our stroller and like gnawed to death. Uh, so it is just kind of a like a, what is this called? I don't even own bags like this so I don't know what this is called but that's my only option for it now um it's just navy blue on the inside it does have a zipper pouch pocket um sorry there's like stuff in here oh good my old insurance card and stickers <laughs> that's it for this one again an og man an og okay next is another gift this was a gift for from rowan um she sent this to me a long time ago it was when daylin was like a baby baby i have every intention of bringing this to the parks and doing a pocahontas look at some point because pocahontas if you guys don't know she's like top three princesses it's pocahontas rapunzel and ariel for me they're my 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 three favorites i can't pick between them um, this movie is just so nostalgic for me and i know it's a complete completely inaccurate historical representation and that's we won't get into that but <laughs> i just i love i love miko i love the nostalgia of this movie and i loved this movie when i was a kid because pocahontas is just she was depicted so powerful in the movie and so strong and anyway i love pocahontas um this is another disney launch fly it's quite a small bag but i actually love that it's a small bag because it's like first of all the inside is gorgeous it's like all the colorful leaves um and then we actually have three pockets so there's like a deep one a deep one and then a little bit more of a shallow one right there um but it's perfect for parks especially if you don't have kids i would say this is like the perfect size bag because it's gonna take them five seconds to search it and then you're okay my camera my memory card filled up and now the lighting is like blue behind me i don't know what's going on but anyway this is just such a nice small bag i think this is perfect for the parks especially if you don't have to have to you know carry like a big giant backpack if you don't have kids and stuff um or you don't need things that you need to carry with you it's just so cute and it's the perfect little accessory for a pocahontas outfit okay another not mini backpack style this was gifted to me also by rowan um <laughs> and it's the grandmother willow danielle nicole bucket bag um, now, Rowan gave this one to me because she didn't love the style of it. And I will say, it's not the most conducive to bringing it into the park. It does feature a crossbody strap, which I appreciate. And it also features the bucket handle, which is like a braided rope. Um, but the inside doesn't have a zipper. It's like you cross these little things and like notch them together. And that's the only thing keeping your stuff from spilling out. So uh, I have to be really careful. <laughs> I actually have not used this bag not gonna lie to you guys like it's so pretty i do love it um i definitely want to put a look together for it but i just i don't see this bag ever going to the parks with me because of the top feature um but she is like an iridescent material which is so cool and the the little tendrils hanging down with the leaves is a nice touch the back is also super gorgeous with that black iridescence moving on okay so that is the end of my non mini backpacks we're going to jump into the neutral section of my lounge fly collection starting with my next emperor's new groove bag <laughs> so this is the Cusco topia mini backpack i am obsessed with this my husband got it for me it's so cute i love that it's like the actual depiction of Cusco topia 
So if you look here, we've got a scooter track, the, the bounce room, the pool. Um, there's like a court over here. It's just so cute. The water is like a different shiny material. Um, on the side pockets, we've got the characters like pressed into the fabric and then this really pretty little pattern. This is my current purse, so I can't really like show the inside super efficiently. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wait. I can. Okay. That's the inside print. It's actually the same print that's in my red Emperor's New Groove bag, but in brown. Um, I love this bag. I usually train, train, I usually use this one in the summer just because the pool like reminds me of the summer. Um, but I do super love it. I think it's like, this is another one that grabs a lot of people's attention and that like people will be like, oh my God, your bag is so cute. Okay, my next neutral bag, if you will, which is really just like me saying like browns and tans, um, is, is not Emperor's New Groove, is the Rescue Rangers. Again, gift from my husband. Most of these are gifts from my husband. Um, but it's got the characters here embroidered, if you guys can tell, which is like a nice feature. It did make this bag more expensive and it doesn't feature side pockets like the other one. Um, we've got like a little piece of cheese here, which is why Monterey Jack is going a crece. And then we have their little like plain thing at the top. It is 3D. If you guys can see, it's raised up there. Um, the inside is completely plain, which again, for the price of this bag, this was a little bit more of an expensive one. And to me, they skipped out on some of the features. And I think it's because of the embroidery and stuff, but it's just kind of like, what do you want? Um, it does have the front pocket, which is a nice size. Um, and I do love this bag. It's very nostalgic. It's very 90s. I didn't say it was one of my favorites. I'm being very particular with saying what's my favorite. <laughs> but super cute. Definitely not one you see all the time. And I'm a sucker, I will say, for a bag that I don't think I'm going to see another better version of, if you will. I'll get into that a little bit more in the future. <laughs> my next bag is super random, but I love this bag. Again, one of my original lounge flies. Um, it's a cactus bag, said the Texas girl. I love cactuses. They get my attention. Not necessarily real ones. I just like depictions of cactuses. Cacti? Cacti. Um, but we've got Mickey and Goofy and Donald's on here too as, as cacti. And then these really pretty red flowers. I do have a smudge there that I have not been able to get off. I'm going to try a magic eraser and see if I can clean it. But I love white accessories. I love white bags. I love white sunglasses. I just, I love the way that white pops when you put an outfit together. So I'm kind of a sucker for it. This bag is a different style mini backpack than any bag I have. Um, inside we've got like kind of like the prickles of the cactus, a zipper pouch, and it is quite a large bag. Um, it also, if you guys can see here, features like a ribbed texture on the brown part. Um, and then it does feature a handle at the top and like really long backpack straps. I have these as tight as they'll go and this one hangs a lot lower than the rest of my bags. Um, but it is super, super cute. And I just like that it's very different. Um, we also do have a little Mickey cactus charm on the front. I'm going to try to move faster. I know I'm talking too much. Um, so this is my Muses bag. It, this one's actually a Danielle Nicole, but I, again, I'm not going to make a separate video when I have like two Danielle Nicole bags. We've got all five Muses on the bottom. I love, I love Hercules. I love the Muses. Anything with the Muses on it, I'm usually like a sucker for. I need it. Like, I feel like I just I need it. Um, we've got all five of them here and they actually included their names. Oh my God. Okay. I have a stain there. I need to clean that. Um, but we've got all of their names here. I can't, I can't even know how I can say all of their names. It's Talia. I can't say that one. Cleo, Calliope, and Mello Poor Me. Fake fan. That's what I am right now. Um, and then we also have like a gold vase. And then we've got this really pretty kind of like ribbon, if you will, that matches this little detail. And it looks like it's going through the bag. It's just so pretty. It's so neutral and cute. I am bringing this one on our next Disney trip. This one does have side pockets, a front zipper pouch, and then the inside is just a plain black with the Daniel Nicole logo. Um, I really, really love this bag. Again, it's a little bit of a different shape, um, but it's just, it's so well made, so detailed. I'm not a huge Daniel Nicole fan, but this was one I absolutely had to have. Again, gift from my husband. Can we see a theme here? Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys my white slash like multicolor bags, but the base of them is white. But we have another gift from Rowan. <laughs> um, this is 
this is one of my favorites. I can definitely say that. It is Rapunzel's Tower, and I every time I look at this bag, I'm just stunned by its beauty. Um, I do just absolutely love it. I love the kind of neutral and pastel color palette. Um, it does feature a front pocket with the zipper, and the zipper is the little sun. It's not focusing right, but I can't like see what I'm talking about when I put it straight in front of my face. Um, the pocket's kind of hard to like show you guys because it's like I have to like reach past the top of the tower. I don't really use this is not a purse I use all the time, mostly because of its color. I just don't want to ruin it. I want to like I didn't even touch this bag, like unwrap it, unwrap it until I took it to the park. And then I was like so excited because I had an entire Rapunzel outfit and it probably will go back to the parks with me. But until then, I just really try to take good care of this one because it's it's beautiful and I'm never going to see it again. Um, we do have some 3D flowers on her hair design along with Pascal. He's 2D, but he's on there and then um, the hair actually wraps around the back which I just think is a nice little extra feature this is the perfect springtime bag if I can ever bring myself to stop being so crazy about keeping it white then maybe I'll use it more in the spring <laughs> oh and then the inside is just a plain pastel purple it does feature a pocket but not with a zipper and then it does have side pockets as well um, but as you guys can see like the tower has trouble like staying up which is another reason I'm just so like I don't want this bag to get beat up. I love it so much. I want it to last a lifetime. I'm going to start saying it too much now, but this is another one of my favorites. So this was gifted to me by a super sweet subscriber. You guys, she sent me one of the most magical boxes I've ever opened. She went way too big and sent me way too much. I, I'm not that channel. Like you guys, if you watch, you know that I'm not a channel that like I get a ton of magic mail and I'm not, you know, like 20,000 subscribers or anything, but I, I love my channel and I love you guys and I I never ever ever expect magic mail or gifts to be sent to me or anything like that so please 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 don't don't think that because that's if that's what you're wanting that's not happening <laughs> um but anyway she was so sweet and she sent me this gorgeous Buzz Lightyear bag this is actually from the Disney store I believe um and I wore this on my last trip I had an entire Toy Story outfit and I just Again, check out the, the outfit planning video because I, I really love this bag. Um, I'm also, I don't know when this video is coming out, but I'm definitely wearing this to going to see the Buzz Lightyear movie, um, I can, or Lightyear, but I cannot wait. I'm so excited. This is also a huge bag. Um, it's like, this is like an actual, like this could be a school backpack. It's so, so large. Um, we've got like the Space Ranger logo. We've got like his actual little decals here. This little portion is a front pocket. Um, and then we've got like his little laser button there. It's just, it's perfect. It's got his little wings. I dressed up as Buzz Lightyear at school for um, one of our spirit days and I wore this for my wings. It's just perfect and I love it and thank you, Krista. Okay, this next bag is kind of like a two-in-one and it perfectly complements my outfit. You gotta check out the Daisy Bobble bar too. So th this whole ensemble is from Erica, but the bag <laughs> is from my friend Kat over at Perfectly Cat. Again, any of these people, if they have channels, I will really try to remember, Saria, remember, to link them down below for you guys. Um, but she got a duplicate of this bag. She's also a Donald Duck fan. So this is like a two-sided bag. Donald is the front but for me, Daisy is the front. Once again, I'm like using the bag kind of backwards. This bag is super cool because it actually can be worn three different ways, I believe. Um, it can be a backpack, a crossbody, and then you can also link it like a over the shoulder bag. Like a crossbody goes across and then like more of like a over the shoulder bag because these straps have clips on the top, the top and the bottom um, on both sides. And then on the inside, it's super cute. It's got this Daisy and Donald um, print. I have worn this bag in the parks as well. Um, I super, super love it. It definitely needs to be cleaned. And again, these white bags, you guys, they, I love them, but they just, you have to be so careful and you really have to take care of them. Um, but Daisy is one of my absolute favorite Disney characters. She is my favorite of Fab Five, Sensational Six, Extraordinary Eight, whatever you want to call them. Um, <laughs> she's my favorite. So I do love having this bag. I have never turned it to the Donald side. So maybe like the dark side. <laughs> Okay, I've never used the Donald side, so maybe I maybe I need to branch out, but. <laughs> Moving to blue, which I think what I have the most of is blue and pink. And then we're really just a holiday bags, and I think we're done. Okay, I think I have five blue bags. Um, okay, so this is one of my first lounge flies as well. I think this is my first, besides the cactus one, this is my first like true mini backpack. I got this in a subscription box. 
bibbity bobbity I think. Um, I didn't love my... That sounds mean. I don't mean it to be mean. I didn't love doing a subscription box. I just don't think I'm the right, like, fit for that. Um, unless maybe it just takes more time. I did three months. This was definitely the best thing that I got, like, by far. This was the only thing I got, but it was the best thing. Um, it is a Disney Parks bag. We have Country Bear Jamboree on there, which was definitely a selling point. Orange Bird, Space Mountain, Mickey Minnie, All the Friends, Pirates of the Caribbean. Like it's basically just Disney World on a bag. And this was a park exclusive. Again, a little bit harder to get your hands on if you don't live near the parks. Um, and just black straps. This one's definitely one of my more, like if you can, can see, my worn down bags because I used this every single day for a very long time. And then I started getting more and swapping them out so that they'll last longer. Um, but I do love this bag. And then I have a similar one to this, which is my Disneyland bag. Um, so that one's Disney World, this one's Disneyland. They're both kind of like a dark blue. Um, this one's less of like a cartoony version. This is more, that doesn't make any sense. The art is just like a different style. Does that make sense? This is like a map of Disneyland and it, I love that. It's got like these little dashes to kind of show you where things are. And then we do have like everybody on here. I'm gonna show you the back just so you can get a better view. But we've got the castle and the train station and the partner statue, Mickey, Minnie, uh, Enchanted Tiki Room, Daisy's right there, Pluto. I'm sure Goofy's on here too. There's Mickey. Um, and then we also have a uh, Tinkerbell floating around up the, above the castle. It's just a very cute bag. This bag also features kind of a unique feature where you can zip it like this and it becomes a one strap backpack. I, I love this bag. I can't really use this feature on it a whole, whole lot because I need the backpack to not be a concern. I just need it on my back and like not worry about it, not be like holding it with one arm. Um, and maybe it's because I have kids and I'm constantly doing stuff with my hands. Um, but that's just me. Um, and then the other downside I will say to a bag like this, which is why I think there aren't too many styles like this, is this the zipper being open. Your hair, a lot of the time, will get caught there. So if I'm being honest, this is not a style of bag I would suggest anyone buying unless you're going to utilize the one strap kind of feature. Um, there's no side pockets on this one. It does have a front pocket. And then the inside is so cute it's like that peach color and it says happiest place on earth okay my next bluish bag it's more i don't know it's blue in person but i feel like on camera it's not gonna look blue oh it does is my encanto bag i love this bag um this was a disney park exclusive as well you had to get it off shop disney or at the parks um it has casita on it and i just lost my mind when i saw this bag i had to get it for my last trip and i used this one caught it <laughs> I use this bag so much it's actually already starting to wear down on the corners so I really had to like trade out bags and stop using it because I will cry if this bag falls apart but it's so colorful and vibrant and just beautiful it does have a front pocket that's like invisible so if you guys can see there there's Antonio peeking out but when I hold it like this you can't even tell it's so cool and then we do have side pockets um with animals and flowers and butterflies the back does say Encanto and then this is a little bit of a smaller bag. I will say the inside feels a little smaller, but the inside fabric is also like to die for. Um, again, this is one of my favorites. I don't know what number I'm on. Four, I want to say. I'll have to count. <laughs> but this is definitely one of my favorite bags. It's so pretty. I'm about to say this is one of my favorite bags two more times for sure, like in this blue section. So this is a new bag. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to insert a clip because this bag lights up. It's not going to show on camera, but the fireworks have little LED light bulbs in them. It's amazing. The moon actually glows in the dark. Um, okay, so earlier in this video, I talked about how when I see a bag that's something I don't think they're going to come out with a whole lot of merch for, I will a lot of the times jump on it. There's other things that I'm not like that with. Ariel is like that as well. The Little Mermaid has some of, I would say, the most merchandise of any Disney movie. It's definitely like top merchandised for movies I would say um and this bag stole my heart because this scene right here and look at the light like you can see it's literally depicted like the fireworks are going off and she's being lit by them it's the most nostalgic the most nostalgic thing for me I see this scene and I instantly feel like a kid again and then we've got her swimming toward the ship here when they're having the big party for Eric it's just perfection <laughs> memory color full, filled up again that's why it's so blue behind me I don't know why that happens. It's the only aerial bag I've ever seen that I was like, I, 
oh my god, I have to have that. Um, this was also a gift for my husband, and this was for our wedding anniversary this year. So I just got it. I had no idea he got it for me. This was a um, limited edition, only sold on Pink a la Mode. I believe it's still on there. Um, if you guys are interested in getting this one. And then if you guys wanted to see, the inside is that same scuttle design that's on the back of the bag with the fireworks. I love that they chose to put scuttle on here because we've got like scuttle, Sebastian, and flounder. It's just amazing. It does have a back pocket, no zipper, but pocket. Um, and then the light switch for it is right here. I have to change the battery though because my daughters discovered that this lights up and they left it on for like three days. So the batteries died. <laughs> I believe it's a AAA battery, but I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Anyway, my one aerial bag. So you guys should be proud of me. This next one we got for a very good deal and it's from Box Lunch. It is a Box Lunch exclusive and it is Atlantis, which if you guys know me, Atlantis, I believe is maybe the most underrated Disney movie of all time. It's also like, should be a live action. I'm sorry, I say the word Atlantis and I get like fired up heated because I just feel like it's underrated. It would make an incredible live action and they haven't even talked about, well actually that's a lie. By this point, they have, there's been rumors, rumors that Tom Holland is like, I'll play Milo and I'm like, yes. We have Kita and her mom and then we've got like the beautiful background of Atlantis before it sinks. Uh, anything with like mothers and daughters, I'm gonna be a sucker for. I have two daughters and it's just, it really got me. There's another Atlantis bag at Box Lunch that, here, I'm gonna pop it up here. It's like Kita and Milo in their like chibi version. It's cute, but it's just not my thing. And so I've been waiting for one like this where it just looks like a clip from the movie. Um, this one's also special because this front pocket is actually a fanny pack that detaches. If we look here, these beads are the little bracelet that Kita is wearing as a child. You guys know what I'm talking If you've seen Atlantis, you know what I'm talking about, but it, the bracelet is significant. Um, this does detach, so this back portion you see that buckle there it like unbuckles and then you basically can like guys it's hard to get back on i'm not gonna lie to you you like unsnap it and then there's more snaps on the front the only thing i don't love about this is that when i do that i have to go inside the bag ugh, and like push the snaps um so that's kind of a pain i don't i think if i hadn't been so in love with this design i don't know that i would have jumped on this this style of bag. I do love the look of it. I think that that looks gorgeous. And I will say this is a very perfect size fanny pack. This part is a like zipperless pocket. So that's kind of a nice feature too. One of my favorites. Ding. Uh, <laughs> it does have side pockets. Um, even though this wraps around, you still have a side pocket access here. And then I've talked too long about this bag. I can feel it. And then the inside's that gorgeous periwinkle color. Um, yes, I got another blue bag, but it's different. And hold on, I'm gonna hold up all the blue bags specifically. They're all different shades of blue. <laughs> so that makes it okay. According to Crayola, blue has the most shades. So there's that. God, why do I know that? Okay, we've gotta move on and I've got to stop talking so much. Now we're to pink. <laughs> Technically this is coral, but go with me here, okay? So it's got stripes and then we have like Disney besties. So we've got Thumper and Bambi, Dumbo and Timothy, uh, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. There's some, where's my faves? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Copper and Todd as babies. I love them. I'm sorry, they like at me every time. This one does not have side pockets. This is also, might be my only bag from Hot Topic. I you no, I have another one. Um, I usually get my bags from Box Lunch. I just tend to like the designs a little bit better, but Hot Topic's cheaper, so keep your eye out there. Um, it does have that front pocket, and then the inside does feature a little pocket, no zipper. Um, and then it's just a plain coral color. This is definitely a more plain bag. This was a gift from my husband. Oh my God, I said I wouldn't talk so much. Anyway, a little bit more of a simplistic bag, super cute, goes with a ton of looks. Very nice to have. This one's definitely from Hot Topic and from my friend Sue. Um, she does have a ch she does have a channel. I will be sure to link her. But this isn't up my last up bag, my number three up bag. And we have Carl and Ellie on the picnic blanket. This is one of my favorite depictions of them. And then the zipper pull. You guys, how perfect is that? It's like the little up house and the balloons. We do have a front pocket feature. Even the clouds are hearts. <laughs> Can you even? This is usually my Valentine's Day bag. I switch into this one around Valentine's Day. We do have side pockets on this one. And then the inside does feature a non-zipper pocket that matches the outside of the bag. Okay, my next pink bag. 
It's one of my favorites. It's my Cinderella pink dress bag. <laughs> Every time I see this bag, it makes me so happy. This was my springtime bag this year. And again, it's dirty. I've got to clean it up. The white, you guys, it kills me. But these little bows are 3D. They're so cute. We've got the bluebirds featured here pulling the ribbon. The mice are kind of hidden throughout. Um, the side pockets, again, we've got the draping with the dress. It's so gorgeous, little 3D bow. On the back, we have an embroidered Gus Gus pulling a thread. Um, the straps are one of my favorite things about this bag because it's a measuring tape. <laughs> I teach a costuming class at my school, so I'm like, I love sewing. I love making costumes. So this bag, the pink dress scene really speaks to me. My Christmas tree in my craft room is pink dress themed. I, I just, I can't let it go when it's pink dress. <laughs> um, and then the inside, this was for Cinderella's 70th anniversary. So we've got that lo logo in there in blue. I love that they did blue. It's so pretty. Um, again, one, oh, I have to show that. Hold on. One of my favorites. And it's got the little scissors as the zipper pull. Okay, the next one's another favorite. Hold on. So this was my Mother's Day gift this year. And it's the princesses and their moms. So this is, I'm gonna show this first because it really depicts it like largely, but we've got Merida, Tiana, Aurora, all with their mothers. And then we have Rapunzel, Mulan, and Anna and Elsa. And I love that Anna and Elsa are centered because as I said, I have two daughters. I very much relate to Anna and Elsa and having two daughters and their mom and all, anything with their mom on and them on it, I'm sold. Um, <laughs> But this bag is so pretty. It's like a blush pink. And then we have all of the princesses and their moms depicted in different scenes. I was a little sad that they didn't include Moana. And I think I thought of another princess where the mom wasn't. And they have their mom in the movie. and They didn't put them on here for some reason. So I don't know why Moana's not on here, but she should have been. <laughs> anyway, I do. I absolutely love this bag. I cried when I opened it just because I... Anything with my daughters, I'm like an instant bucket of tears, but I, I love this bag. Again, this one's going with me on our next trip. No matter what the outfit plans are, this one has to go. This one also features, if you guys saw this little clip-on, kind of like zipper pouch. I kept my chapstick and lip gloss in here because... But you honestly, the nice thing about this is like if you just needed to run into a store and you just wanted to like clip this and only take that in, that's a nice feature. It does have the zipper front. No side pockets on this one. And then the inside has the same print, but it's p light pink and dark pink with a zipper inside pouch. Um, this one also feels very high quality and is larger than the average mini backpack. Kind of show you guys. Um, if you like a larger bag, I would definitely look at this one, especially if you're a mom. Okay, we're in the holiday bags now. I'm gonna count this one as Halloween because I didn't know where else to put it. <laughs> so this is an Yzma bag, clearly. Oh my God, I have four. This is just number three, right? For Emperor's New Groove, just three. So I have this one, Cuscotopia, and then the crossbody. Um, this one, it cracks me up every time I see it, but we've got Yzma here looking glorious. Um, it does have a front zipper pouch that's also like her dress. And then it does have purple straps. Oh, they're so vibrant on video. And then on the back, possibly one of my favorite features, we have Devil and Angel Crunk. I honestly wish they were on the side, like, devil and angel so you could see them all the time but it's okay i'm glad they're on their period and then the inside of this bag you guys <laughs> it's so pretty i love the neon against the black it's just gorgeous um this was gifted to me as well in a villains box swap that was so much fun to be a part of um i really love it i love it so much Okay, moving on to another very well-loved bag, and it is my Halloween time bag, religiously. It's my Hocus Pocus bag. This one's from Box Lunch. They've come out with quite a few. Nothing's ever topped this design for me. It's got a very deep purple background with Winifred and Mary and Sarah, and they are in that chibi form I talked about earlier, but I really loved them for this particular bag. Also, I've never seen them not in chibi form for, is that the right word? I hope so. When they're like mini and cutesy, um, I've never not seen them like that, but I liked their eyes in this one. It's a little bit less creepy than some of the other bags. <laughs> I also have my little Sarah keychain. She needs to be cleaned, but um, this was gifted to me by Sammy and I had to add it to my bag. Um, it does have front pocket and side pocket features. I also just love the teal with the purple on this bag. It's just, it's flawless, flawless. Um, and then the inside says Hocus Pocus everywhere in the same color scheme. It's just, you guys, I get so excited in August when I pull this baby out. Don't judge me. I love Halloween. Two more and we're done. 
So this is one of my two Christmas bags, both from my husband. This one's the Grinch and we've got him as a little baby there and then baby Max and some presents. I do love the black background on this with the really bright colors. I think it's so festive and cute and fun. Um, it's hard for me to pick between my two Christmas bags because the other one, if I'm being honest, I like more but this one's still super cute and it's got a red inside with the pocket. Um, this one has no side pockets. I believe these are both from Hot Topic, which if you guys are wondering, Hot Topic definitely is a little bit cheaper feeling bags, but they're cheaper. So when you're trying to save money, it's a good place to look. Um, and they do have cute designs like this one. Um, but my husband knows how much I love the Grinch. It's my favorite Christmas movie of all time. So he had to get me a Grinch bag and it's just precious. Last bag. My other Christmas bag that was also from my husband. Um, so this has, God, I'm just everybody, everybody but Goofy for some reason. Um, but we've got Chip and Dale, Mickey, and then I'm gonna flip it on the back. On. And then we've got Minnie right there, and then Daisy and Donald as well. Um, Daisy's like perfectly depicted right there. Donald got his head cut off, but we got Daisy. Um, and then there's just little Christmas trees and mountains in the background and snowflakes. It's just so wintry and festive and Christmassy. I actually don't feel super bad using this one into January because it's winter. Um, it's got like these nice gray straps. Again, no side pockets, but it does have the front zip pocket and perfect for Christmas time. I love that it's a little bit more subtle and so cute. And then the inside is just that plain gray with a pocket. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. It's like different time, different outfit, but I forgot to include one bag because it's my newest bag. And it's this. So this is my newest bag. It is from Cakeworthy and I got it super on clearance. It was clearance for $25 and then they sent me a 15% off coupon. So it ended up being even cheaper than that. It's the Death Star in backpack form. <laughs> and then it's quite large on the inside and really easy to open, which is nice. And then there's little Darth Vader's on the inside with a pocket. Um, this will be utilized on an upcoming Disney trip. Stay tuned. We did it. And this took forever. I cannot even imagine how long this video is gonna be. And I've got three minutes left on my memory card. I've just gotta get through this, but thank you guys so much if you stayed with me to the end. Please let me know favorite bags down below. Are there bags I need to keep my eye out for? Yes, I know this is excessive. Yes, I am aware this is excessive and unnecessary. It's something I enjoy collecting. It's something that I use. Um, and it's just fun. I love, I love getting these as gifts. I love online shopping for them. They're so much fun and they, for me personally, I love pulling together outfits based on my bags. <laughs> um, and you guys have to stay tuned because we do have another Disney trip booked already. <laughs> um, and I, I'm not gonna announce exactly when just yet, but lots of these bags will be going with me. So be sure to stay tuned for outfit planning videos and trip planning videos. Um, and we have actually have a lot of exciting news about that trip, so stay tuned. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'm gonna go ahead and link below my bestie, Erica, cause she did a video exactly like this where she showed all of her bags and we have very different collections. So if you guys are interested in seeing even more lounge flies, I'll go ahead and link her below. Thank you guys so much for watching this, I'm sure, ridiculously long video. Please leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for your support and love on my channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.